Hello my dear students, welcome to Namsar Bio class. So today we discuss a very important chapter for ICC class 7. Last week we discussed this chapter that is the plant and animal tissue. And especially we discuss about the plant tissue. And today we also, it is a day 3 for this particular chapter. And in our today's syllabus we discuss about the vascular tissue. That means the complex permanent tissue. So plant tissue, you, you already understand that this is a different types. One is the meristematic type, another is the permanent type. Meristematic means they have the cell division power. Permanent tissue, that means they have lost the cell division power, but they have specialized some function. They have the one single type of cells. On the other hand, they have different types of cells. According to this, we classify the permanent tissue into the two groups. One is simple permanent tissue, another is complex permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue, this is the three types. Parenchyma, cholenchyma, and sclerenchyma. But in the complex uh, permanent tissue, they have the different type of cells in their structure. So they are called the complex. We have the two type of complex permanent tissue. One is the xylem, another is the phloem. Today we discuss this topic, xylem and phloem. At first, welcome all of the, uh, all of the special students to a special class. Shayam, Sindhila, Shatanik, Aniket, Shurashish, Gaurav, Shirastif, Onubhav, Shohum, Shudipto, Dishari, Shomojit, Oindrila, Ankun, Devaru, Shomodito, Shomriti, Shutanu, Shrijita, Devolila, Nirupama, Ishan, Krishna Shish, Arushi, Shaudesh, Roshmi, Promit, Devarko, Shaptoshi, Shomujit, and Koshani. All of this uh, special students are very warm welcome to our special class. But today is a special because the xylem and phloem, this is the most important topic in our biological science. This chapter or this topic also be there in the ICSC class 9 syllabus. Also in the CBSC class 9, also this chapter is there in the anatomy of flowering plants in the class 11 syllabus. So this is some basic part or basis or fundamentals is there that is we discuss in our today class. So this chapter of this topic is not only for the ICSC class syllabus, 7 syllabus, this is for the, all the students who, who ultimately learn the biology and that is the most important chapter for that type of student. So now the vascular tissues of plants. At first we discuss that the vascular tissues were is present in the plant system, but in our human beings we have a special type of, type of pathway that is called the circulatory system. Why the circulatory system is present in the human body? Because they help the transport the different materials in our body. So they, we have the circulatory system. Similar like plant also the living things. So they also require the transportation of the different materials like the food, like the water, like the minerals for which plants have a specialized tissue that is, that is called the conducting tissue or the vascular tissue. And this is a complex permanent tissue. Number one, like the animals, circulatory system, vascular tissue also act as a this type of system. If you go inside the plant system, that time you are epidermal tissue, ground tissue, and finally you find out the vascular tissue. So it is present in the very central location in the plant system. In here, the xylem and phloem, the two type of vascular tissue is there. At first, you uh, bear in mind, two type of complex permanent tissue is there, xylem and phloem. What is their function? Why it is important into the plant body that first we discuss this thing? You know that is a xylem. The xylem has the capacity to transport the water and minerals from the root hairs to the leaf. So it is a unidirectional transportation mechanism. It is performed by the xylem. On the other hand, phloem, they 
transport mainly the food materials. So food is required the all the different parts of the plant. So their transportation direction is the multi-direction. Xylem and phloem, their difference is the most common question in the over the syllabus. Right? So but today we discuss about the structural point of view. What is the structure? What is their different parts? That is what we discuss. So xylem transport the water and minerals in the unidirectional pathway. On the phloem transport the food and other material in the multidirectional pathway. Number one, xylem and phloem are complex permanent tissue because they are made up of different type of cells. But what is the different type of cells? That is what we discuss now. Number one, a type of cells present in the xylem cells. What is this type of cells? Tracheids, vessels, xylem fibers, and xylem parenchyma. Lastly, when we discuss about the simple permanent tissue, that time we discuss the parenchyma tissue, also in the sclerenchyma tissue. In, inside the xylem structure, simple parenchyma and simple sclerenchyma is there. That is a similar to the simple permanent tissue. But specialized two type of cell is there in the structure of xylem, that is the tracheids and the vessels. You also call the xylem tracheids or the xylem vessel. But what is their characteristic features? Now we discuss this thing. Okay, clear, sure is, Rasdeep, Arushin, any doubts? Uh, write down in the live chat box if any doubts. Now, the origin, you have a special uh, knowledge about that. I think you know that the tracheids and vessels, what is their characteristic features? Now, we try to discuss this thing again and again. Number one, that is the tracheids. They have the specialized structure present in the xylem. They have the tapering ends. You can see it. It is the tapering end and it is the dent and the maturity. That means their protoplasm are destroyed. They are dead in the maturity. All of the students, please write down this note in your copy after the class is completed. Okay. Now, now at first you just learn this thing. But after the live class is completed, please you write down the all important characteristic features in your copy. Number one, show tapering ends is there in the trackets, date at the maturity, and the different thickening is present in the different different cells. And next and most important also the characteristic features, a thickenings and some peaks. It's like a small cavity like structure. This is the characteristic features of trackets and xylem vessels. These are short and white cells. This is the cells. But when they mature, they are also with a dead in nature. They are, this is the most important cells because uh, they have also the perforated end walls. Perforation also be there in their structure. And different shells, thickening also be there, there in their walls. There is a, and vessel is the most important cell. Uh, they have like tube-like structure. So it is the main site by which the water and minerals are transported. And the xylem fibers, this is a similar like the sclerenchyma tissues. And that time we find out that sclerenchyma tissues have some long cylinder structure elongated structure, dead structure and their wall is very thick. What is why they are present in their uh, xylem? They give some support. This is the function of the xylem fibers. This is the third type of cells. And now we discuss the fourth type of cells. That is the xylem parenchyma. What is their features? Number one, they are living. Bear in mind, xylem parenchyma, they are living. They are thin wall, their wall is very thin, right? So this is a different structural part of the xylem. Please do bear in mind, this is the most important topic that we discuss in our today's session. And next one, 
We discuss now the structure of the fluid. Fluid also we call the complex permanent tissue. Why? Because they have the four type of cells in their structure. So what is the four type of structural cell are present? Number one, sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem cell, phloem fibers, and the phloem parenchyma. Now one by one discuss this thing and their features. Number one, same like the xylem vessels, phloem also have a long tubular structure that is called the sieve tubes. That is the elongated structure. Now you can observe this, this thing. Very elongated and long structure. They have also the perforation. And inside that, a plate is there. This plate also is a perforated. And this plate are called the sieve plates. Now we discuss the another type of cells is present in the fluid that is called the companion cell. This is the companion cells present in the two sides also. They are living cells and they are associated with the sieve tubes. You can observe that in this is the sieve tubes and the companion cell are associated to it. So they also we call the companion cells like the friends, like the assistant, right? Similar type of function is there of the companion cells. Now the phloem fiber, this is a similar like the sclerin chyma tissues. So they also be the non-living structure, they give the support. Also in the phloem, the phloem parenchyma is there. This is the similar structure of the parenchyma. So they are living in nature. They also help to, uh, to supply some food material initially in the phloem structure from other cells. So this is the xylem and phloem and we discuss the different type of cells what is present in the xylem and phloem and their function that is the most important xylem are transport the water and minerals in the unidirectional pathway and the phloem are transport the food material in the multidirection that means the all the different ways. So this is the complex permanent tissue. They are also we call the vascular tissue. Clearly you understand this thing. I think this is a very interesting topic. I think uh, you have no doubts. Right? So please you all the students write down the notes. All of these topics. After, the, after this chapter are completed. I give you a total complete full notes. Also some question answer and some also the exercise or an assignment question. Please, all of the students contact over in WhatsApp, uh, mainly my Chattanooga student and my Andhra student. Uh, I give this uh, homework and the notes for you. So thank you, thank you very much, all of the students. Uh, and please you doing your homework. And after that, all the uh, topics are completed, we are, uh, take also a mock test for you. So thank you and we wish you the best of luck.